What's going on, people? I went to Nordstrom Rack today just to take photos for you guys of different brands, the tags, and the retail price of these different brands. Um, this is just so. Anytime you go into a thrift store, you can try to start familiarizing yourself uh, with these different brands. So if you see something, uh, you kind of know to grab it. Most everything I'm going to show today is going to be pretty good profit, especially if you're paying under $10 for the item. Um, so just try to memorize every single thing on this video. There's going to be a quiz afterwards. Totally kidding. All right, let's get started. The first brand is called Impermeable Platinum. I have never heard of this. Merino Silk Cashmere. I'm not even sure what that is. I've heard of cashmere, heard of merino wool, I've heard of merino cashmere, but not merino silk cashmere. So I'm, without looking at the materials tag, this could just be um, the blend. It could be 30% this, 20% this, I don't know. Um, but anyway, cashmere obviously always sells really well. Silk too, um, anything other than the cotton is, is always more profitable. This is a crew neck sweater. Retail price is $185. Smart down to 37 at Nordstrom Rack. You might could make a profit off of that of 20, 30, 40 bucks. But you think for $40 what all you could buy at Goodwill, it's, I don't know, may, may or may not be worth it. Um, next brand we got is Ted Baker. This was a crew neck sweater as well, $148 retail. Nat Nast, I have never heard of this. 70% silk, 30% cotton, uh, $140. This was a three button polo shirt. Be on the lookout for it. Thomas Dean, $110. This is a, a button-up. I guess technically you call it um, just a casual shirt because it's a large. If it was like a 17 and a half or something like that, 16, then it would technically be considered a dress shirt um, if you're looking at the categories on eBay. Um, that's kind of one way to tell if you should list an item as a dress shirt or a casual shirt is if it has uh, the kind of, I guess you call cardinal, uh, size is small, medium, large, or if it's got the numbers like 16, 16 and a half, 17. Um, so be on the lookout for Thomas Dean, 110 bucks for this uh, button up. Vince, if you don't know about Vince, man, Vince is killing it. Uh, $165 for a crew neck sweater. I see some of this sometimes. You don't really even have to look for the crazy designs because, to be honest, Vince doesn't make a whole lot of crazy stuff. They do make some good looking uh, shirts with different stripes and different. Uh, different uh, directions and stuff like that um, some geometrical shapes here and there but for the most part a lot of their stuff is just plain solid patterns and it sells for really high prices 165 bucks theory 38 there's another brand I'll show you in a minute called theory so I don't know if 38 is uh, a European size or if that is a collection that they have um, Anyway, this is seventy-five dollars. This was a short sleeve T-shirt, almost like a kind of felt like an Under Armour, like a really breathable, silky kind of light, smooth uh, outdoor fitness shirt or something. Very interesting. Uh, Anthony Morado, one hundred and fifteen dollars. This is a button-up, really cool pattern on it. I like that. This is also a slim fit. Um, slim fit's usually pretty good. Also, the bigger sizes, uh, whether it's a slim fit. I don't think you really see too much slim fit in a. 3XL, um, but anytime you got cool patterns like this, uh, you want you definitely want to pick it up. Uh, Peter Millar, if you've ever seen that, 125 bucks. This is a uh, button-up casual shirt here. Um, I've seen a, a, some of this in the Goodwills run here, not a whole lot, but you really, when you're looking at any of these brands, and this is obviously just not spe uh, specific to Peter Millar, but any of these brands you're looking at, you really want to look for stuff that catches your eye that looks unique that looks different that looks uh really cool and one of the ways to to kind of define cool and unique for yourself is to go on ebay and look at the completed and see what is selling what peter millar shirts are selling what's not selling um because you can go in the store sometimes and find these high-end brands and it'll be the most boring shirt ever just a solid button-up shirt and it's in a weird mustard puke green color and it won't sell so you got to kind of be smart just because it's a high-end brand doesn't mean just rush out and buy it, but um, you know you still want to you still want to pay attention to these things. And you, you, this I would look up on eBay. I type in Peter Millar black purple plaid button up and see what's selling, how much it's going for. Uh, theory again, um, like I said, the one, the one before I don't know if they're related. They're all lowercase. It's 
so it's possible. This is a three button up polo shirt, $105 retail. Bugachi Uomo, we've all seen this. Well, a lot of us have seen this. Um, Raken talks about it. Uh, Hoarding Profits talks about it as well. 95 bucks for a three button up polo. This, if I saw this in a store for this polo in this color, um, for 10 or 12 bucks, I probably would not buy it because to me, this is a very boring shirt. Um, Bugatti is not a gotta have it brand, it's a high end brand and it sells for a lot. But you gotta find the stuff that's interesting, you gotta find the cool designs, you gotta find the stripes, the button ups, um, button up, you know, dress shirts, casual shirts, uh, things that really catch your eye because <clears throat> something like this is just probably going to sit for a while. I've got some shirts that are high in brand in my store, and they just sit because they're they're not interested. Um, Gant, and I think this says, did it say Ruger? Yeah, Gant Ruger, um, New Haven, Connecticut, <clears throat> $185. This was a six-button cardigan, so be on the lookout for Gant. Rag and Bone, $255. This was a button-up Casual dress shirt kind of thing. It had a really interesting collar. Um, you see the size here is a 15, so that I'm not sure if that's the collar size. Not terribly familiar with Rag and Ball, and I've seen it before. Um, 255 bucks. Pick that up if you see it. Psycho Bunnies three button up polo right here for 105. Is that 105? Yeah, 105. Um, Obey Obey makes a lot of stuff like surfer skater type. Uh, apparel is $65 this was a simple sweatshirt 65 bucks it will sell again with Obey um, you really want to look for those crazy blank, brand, uh, crazy designs because there's a lot of Obey out there and not all of it is very interesting uh, another Anthony Murado uh, $147 this was another button up with some cool anchors on it junk food this was a simple t-shirt short sleeve t-shirt 38 bucks um, and I'm not 100% that this was the retail because this is a Nordstrom tag here. So it probably said compare to 38. So you're looking at anywhere 38 to 50 bucks for this uh, junk food brand. Really cool brand. I love the way it looks. Um, but I'm not sure, uh, you know, I'm not sure how, what do you call it, how popular it's going to be or easy to find. Whoops. Um, next brand we have is Jason Scott, which I've never heard of. This was a varsity jacket. Um, 185 bucks to get a zipper. The outside, uh, main, most of the material here is kind of like a, a thick wool, and then sleeves are leather all the way down to the cuffs, where you got like a cot cotton elastic cuff. Um, just a typical varsity style jacket. 185 bucks. Uh, be on the lookout for it, man. Never heard of it. Uh, Ermina Gildo Zegna. We've all heard of this. I just wanted to take a picture of the tag so you know what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> A lot of that stuff sells. Even the ugly stuff that I bought has sold pretty quickly. So definitely be on the lookout for that stuff. Hugo Boss, $165 for a button-up shirt. This is a cool design. I would definitely pick this up in the store. Um, I like that a lot. So so keep an eye out for the kind of really unique, um, interesting, eye-catching designs. Robert Barraquette, never heard of this. $120. This was a three-button-up polo. Excuse me. Um... I thought I had seen this brand before, but I think I was maybe misreading it. Not sure, but uh, anyways, made in Montreal, and I don't know what all types of stuff they make, because really all I found in the store was this button-up polo. I don't know if he makes sweaters and jackets or pants or whatever, but uh, I imagine that logo is probably similar in all of his different garments. Burberry Brit, we're all familiar with Burberry. Just want to take a picture of it and show you what it looks like. This is authentic from Nordstrom Rack. <clears throat> I think this... Uh, this was just a long sleeve T-shirt. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, I think it retailed for like forty. Well, no, it was on sale for forty. It retailed ninety-eight. Um, so, man, that's what it looks like. If you ever find it in the store and you need to verify, just go on Google. Uh, if you got your smartphone with you, go on Google and, and look up Burberry Brit tag or Burberry tag or Burberries. Um, those of you who have seen Burberries, it used to actually have a S apostrophe on it uh, pre nineteen ninety-eight. So 1998, they changed it to just Burberry. So don't let anybody tell you it's fake just because it has an S on it. Again, Rag and Bone, 99 bucks. This was a three-button uh, Henley long sleeve. Uh, another Rag and Bone. This was a cool jean jacket, $275 retail. Yeah, pick that up if you see it. Billy Reed, 
never heard of it. Seventy eight bucks for a two button uh, Henley. This was kind of an interesting shirt. Um, you know, short sleeve. Seemed kind of kind of cheaply made. Um, this is where the collar ended right here. It didn't really go beyond that. It's it was kind of an interesting shirt to me. But anyway, eighty bucks retail. Um, <clears throat> another Vince crew neck sweater, one hundred ninety five dollars. Again, it's plain. It's not terribly exciting, but it sells and it's really profitable. Penguin. Penguin is one of those brands you can find a lot of boring stuff in. $80. This was a long sleeve uh, t-shirt, I guess you'd call it. Um, so, you know, you really want to try to find those those unique designs with this brand because there's a lot of it on eBay. Uh, it will sell, but it's got to be it's got to it's got to look cool. Uh, Toscano, never heard of that. $135. This was a button up, really cool design. True Religion jeans. Uh, I'm sure most of us have heard of that. You want to look for certain washes, especially when you're looking on eBay completed. Uh, type in a wash or look up on their website and find out what washes there are. Research the different ones on the completed and see, you know, what's what's selling for more. Because some sometimes that wash makes a huge difference. These retail at two twenty. Um, I mean, I've seen I've seen the, the difference in in price on different washes be. 60 65 percent so you want to make sure you're not buying them just because they're true religion because there's a ton of them on there but look at the wash look at the fit look at the style if you find style number or something try to try to really do your research make sure you buy the the best one you can uh our glory by diesel 450 dollars just really just a plain pair of dark wash jeans look really cool um this kind of the standard uh diesel you'll see on most jeans this is not on this pair of jeans. This is a totally different pair here. Um, and this comes distressed and it's got the little marks on it and this and that and the other. This is what was on the back of those pair of jeans um, with this tag here. That's the front. It's right on the coin pocket there. And this is on the back. Actually, I think it was on the left side, which is kind of awkward uh, or in a different place than usual. Um, retail price on that was $198. Uh, RP, RP, RPS. Never heard of this. Um, the price ended up being 175 This was a pair of like chinos, like khaki pants, but different color. Um, and the logo on it, to me, looks like a girl with a jackhammer, which is very interesting. It says, bruised, never broken. So keep an eye out for that slogan there. Nudie jeans, never heard of it, $180. This is what the tag looks like on the back of the jeans. It's really just a dark pair of jeans with a with a kind of a gold stitch. Really good-looking uh, good pair. Um but, you know, it's just something that I'm, I've probably skipped over or probably would have skipped over had I not gone in here and, and really tried to familiarize myself with these brands. <coughs> uh, Wallen and Brothers, I just bought one of their sweaters from Goodwill. Um, it's not terribly popular on eBay, um, but it's really good quality. And $118, this is for a, a crew neck sweater here. <coughs> so a, I would do a little bit more research on the completed and see what designs um, are selling you know what's not there may be a lot of uh, solid color boring stuff out there I don't really know but um, keep an eye for Wallen and Brothers it seems to be pretty quality Scotch and Soda if you don't know about them they're from Amsterdam uh, came to the US about a year and a half ago uh, first store was in New York second store was in San Francisco I actually shop there in San Francisco when I lived out there uh, two years ago and their stuff kind of fits like Abercrombie, but it's not quite as, uh, it doesn't have a bad reputation like Abercrombie does. Um, you can't, as far as I know, you still cannot order it from the website. Um, they don't do any shipping outside of uh, Amsterdam, so you have to go into a store. So that could be a, um, one of your advantages of, of finding it is that a lot of people can't get it shipped to them. $110, it's a simple crew neck sweatshirt. It said Amsterdam and something about San Francisco on it. So that's the end of the brands. Um, hopefully that helped. I mean, it definitely helped me. So, you know, maybe I'll give you an idea of, of uh, what brands you want to be looking for. Um, also check out our Facebook group. Um, if you go to Facebook and just search The Thrifting Lounge, uh, the logo for our group looks like uh, neon signs on a brick wall. So join us there if you would. And uh, comment on the video, ask questions please because the more i don't know the more i learn the more questions you ask the more you learn uh you know let's all learn together and build up our encyclopedia of of what to buy um 
you know, it'd be nice to be able to go into a thrift store and not have to break out your smartphone because you just know everything so well. Um, but anyway, hope this helped build up that inventory, uh, encyclopedia inventory or whatever you want to call it in your head. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We kind of just started this whole YouTube channel and the group as well, so we're going to be putting out a whole lot of new content. Um, and, you know, we're, we're taking requests too. If you got any video ideas you want to see, any, any major questions, you can ask in the group. You can ask right here on Facebook. Uh, right here on YouTube. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just get a hold of us, get connected, and uh, hopefully you'll find some of these brands soon this week. Later.